And now people who can't pay their rent are forced to go to food banks. Two million people now going to food banks. Two million, a record smashing number. In fact, in Toronto, one in 10 people are relying on feed food banks. The number of people eating at food banks in Toronto today would fill the Rogers Center seven times. That is life in Toronto after eight years of Justin Trudeau winning every single seat in that city. Toronto, what have you got for voting for Justin Trudeau? Your, your streets are crawling with crime and chaos. You can't afford the rent. There's division like never before in our streets. Places of worship are under attack. People who've lived there all their lives no longer feel at home. The big cities that voted for Justin Trudeau are suffering the most because of his disastrous and costly policies. You know, look at the crime. Violent crime is up 40%. The number of overdose deaths is up 200%. 40,000 Canadians have lost their lives to overdoses after eight years of Justin Trudeau's policy of decriminalizing crack and heroin and giving out tax-subsidized opioids that have heroin-level potency. Pierre Poilievre's comments have stirred concerns about their economic implications for Justin Trudeau. The focus shifts to the struggles of those unable to pay rent and relying on food banks. Economic policies gain attention for their direct impact on individual finances. Recognizing the challenges faced by those grappling with rent and food insecurity demonstrates an awareness of their unique circumstances. Poilievre's criticism extends to crime and disorder in Toronto, raising doubts about law and order under Trudeau's leadership. The division and perceived insecurity among the populace reflect on Trudeau's influence on Sokiel Coalition. Discussions delve into the importance of community and unity, with division casting a negative light. Scrutiny of crime rates, overdose deaths, and drug decriminalization statistics becomes crucial, emphasizing the need for a strong stance on law enforcement and drug control. Poilievre's focus on Toronto highlights Trudeau's policy's relevance to local issues, emphasizing the impact on major cities and the public's preference for responsive local governance.